The PDP-1 was the first computer that I ever met that had a display on it as a standard feature and had a power switch that I could touch. Uh, I had been working for several years on the, I the big IBM systems, which at the time were vacuum tube. They were just beginning to be transistorized. Here the PDP-1 had a typewriter right there connected and uh, very, very soon after it arrived, uh, a committee of students had made an interactive system that allowed you to debug your program uh, in terms of the symbols you had used for writing it rather than just raw numbers. And the combination of doing that and doing it on a typewriter which responded instantly uh, seemed like much more exciting thing to do than sit there and decode large uh, volumes of numbers. So I kind of wanted to use that. And it looked like with the display you could do something interesting. The uh, space race was very much in the news at the time. And so we decided that, gee, or I decided that, and promoted the idea that, gee, you could probably write a spaceship trainer for it. So somebody ought to write something to train people how to fly a spaceship. And they could do it on this computer, and it would be fun. The part that I did was what I would consider a plain vanilla programming project. There were a couple of things that were needed to be collected beforehand. One was I needed sine and cosine routines and a square root routine. And I didn't have to write them, they were available. Uh, and in fact, the sine cosine routine was the cause of some of the embarrassment because I was ceremonially presented with the sine and cosine routines by Ellen Kotak, who said, here's the sine and cosine routines, now what's your excuse? I didn't have one, so I had to write some code, and I had to figure out how to display uh, spaceships that rotated smoothly. Space War was probably one of the first computer games where people actually came back to play it again, because a lot of the earlier ones were demonstrations, but oh, that's nice. Uh, but, you know, tic-tac-toe doesn't have a high repeat value. We did bias things a little in favor of tactics rather than just uh, shoot them up. Uh, so there's a real benefit to understanding something about orbits and something about strategy like not wasting your fuel and torpedoes uh, when your opponent isn't a good target. So. There, is, there are some things to figure out, and there are some things to practice. My story is it's um, more than 50 years old. It's running the original release. There are no outstanding user complaints, no crash reports, and support is still available.